as a defense against despair, we are taught to pray, deliver us from evil, not as sort of like a magic incantation that would finally chase away the devil, at least until he comes crawling back around, but as a recognition that in all of these things, our, our Father in heaven would rescue us from every evil of body and soul, possessions and reputation. And finally, when our last hour comes, give us a blessed end and deliver us from this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. We pray, deliver us from evil with a recognition that when Jesus said it is finished on the cross, he did. We pray, deliver us from evil, because when I look around, when I look in the mirror, I see evil. I see sin. I see death. I see the things that, that God would hate so much that he would have to rescue me from them, that he does rescue me from them, and that he does rescue you from as well. We pray, deliver us from evil, uh, because God, because God is the one who saves. It's a great comfort because now we're not measuring how much evil we see versus where we could actually find enough good to sort of weigh it out in the sort of like a cosmic scale that would show that God is totally real and on our side. But now we look to a cross where he bled and died and said, it is finished and known and know that, that here we are rescued from every evil, even, even ourselves.